Hiya, welcome to the second video on the quadratic topic. Uh, Hiya, Matt. Uh, what we're looking at today is quadratic inequations. Now, for the vast majority of the time, these come up as part of other questions, but it's a skill that we don't have yet, so it's something that we need to look at. Now, what we want to be able to do is solve quadratic inequalities, solve an equations using the, a sketch of the function, particularly in reference to the x-axis. Now, that is the drawing a sketch is by far and away the easiest way to solve these equations. What we're looking at is we want to know when this function, when this expression, when this quadratic is above zero. So the best way to do it is to, I would always go to the side and just do a little sketch about, well, where the, what about when it is zero and then look at it from there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve that equation instead of being for uh, greater than zero, I'm going to solve it for equal to zero because that's looking at the x-axis and where it cuts the x-axis. Now that's a trinomial that factorises to uh, minus 7 plus 4, which means your solution, things are looking very ugly at the moment, which means your, solu your solution is x equals 7 and x equals negative 4. So for your sketch, you know you're dealing with a positive parabola. You know that in terms of the x-axis, I'm just going to have a bit more space. In terms of the x-axis, you've got a, a smiley face with the two solutions at minus 4 and 7. Okay, now I'm going to get this a wee job. My pen's not being pretty temperamental, so bear with me if it's not perfect. Okay, so there's minus 4, or sorry, there's 7 and there's minus 4. Now we want to know when that when that quadratic is greater than zero. Now it's above zero at that point there and at that point there. So our solution for that quadratic is that x can be anything less than negative four and x can be anything greater than seven because for that quadratic, those are the areas that are above zero. Those are the areas that are above that x-axis. Okay, and that's your solution. Okay, quick sketch, look at it, answer the question. Okay, here's a second example. Feel free to get that down. I'll go back here and let you have that as a note as well, just in case you missed that at the time. Okay, so there's the sketch at the bottom as well. Okay, example two, maybe give this a wee try. Okay, but first we're going to draw our sketch. We want to know for that sketch, when is this quadratic equal to zero because that's going to tell you when it's above, when it's below and equal to just in one uh, drawing. So again it's a trinomial, it's x, x plus 5 minus 3, which means your solutions are x is negative 5 and x is 3. And for our sketch, Okay, again, it's that positive parabola, minus 5 and 3. So we're looking for when it is less than or equal to 0. So on that sketch, it is less than or equal to 0, all the way in that area there. Okay, and our answer for that can be written a bit funny, but essentially it's x is bigger than negative 5, but less than 3, or, or equal to. So x is bigger than or equal to negative 5. Negative 5 is less than or equal to x, and it's less than or equal to 3. Okay, that's your solution. Everything in that range is when that quadratic is less than or equal to 0. Okay, again, quick sketch tells us the answers we need to know. Okay, and last example, again, feel free to give it a try. Let's do a sketch over here. We want to solve that is equal to zero because that will tell us our reference points so or when it's above and when it's below. Okay, and this one here, I'm oh, sorry, that's five, not 15. Okay, that factorizes, we want to know when that's equal to zero. That factorizes to 3x plus 1 and x minus 5 which becomes x equals negative a third and x equals 5. 
Okay, again, we're looking at a positive parabola. Negative a third is here. Five is here. Yeah, look more like a three, maybe. Okay, now you can use that graph to answer your question. You want to know when this quadratic is below zero, when it's less than zero. Well, we can see from the graph from the sketch that it's below zero in between negative a third and five. So negative a third is less than x, which is less than five. Okay, x is bigger than a negative a third, and x is less than five. Okay, now the only thing they can change is how t tricky the factorizing is. As you can see from that third example, the three x squared makes it a trickier factorizing, but we'll be able to deal with that. A negative x squared, again, will be a little bit trickier, but if you have a quadratic inequality to solve, trust me, just go do a quick sketch, nice and easy to solve after that. Okay, thank you very much.